Morning everyone. It's Monday evening and uh, time for another shed update video. Uh, it's been quite a bit of work has been completed over the past number of days and I uh, just had to do a little bit of an update on how things is progressing so far. Uh, yeah so since the last video you can see we've we've got some lights fitted. Uh, lights were fitted on uh, what day was it? Saturday we got the lights all wired up. Um, lights we used are, they're an LED, uh, they're kind of like a fluorescent style light. Uh, the light themselves, they've got two small strips of LEDs that runs the, the in, in, on the internal of the lights and produces quite a bit of, of light. Uh, it's a nice white bright light so it uh, produces a lot more light than the, the, the old fluorescent tubes or tube type light did. Um, and I'm sure probably a wee bit easier on, on electric as well. Um, but yeah, very happy with the, with the light so far. I think they are, the make of them is, I think it's an Anacel. Uh, there's a five year guarantee with them anyway. And yeah, very happy with them. Uh, we also used LED lights outside as well. Uh, we put on a fairly large, I think it's a 168 watt uh, light for, for uh, lighting up the side of the yard and then a smaller one then for down the bottom. Um, but yeah, quite happy with the lighting so far. Uh, it should shine enough light out here for the feeding, the external feeding box for if you were doing anything or uh, checking that or feeding at night or whatever. So uh, yeah, quite happy with that as well. Um, we didn't want having to go with uh, three rows of lights. So we tried to, tried to do it in two if we could. Um, also, as you can see, we've got some of our barriers. Uh, have arrived. Uh, they arrived also on Saturday and uh, we also have started to uh, pre-fit some of those before they go away for galvanizing. Uh, the barriers themselves are uh, they're made out of two and a half inch uh, heavy walled box action. Um, so they're they're, they're built to take a little bit of abuse from the, the larger bowls that we'd be feeding from time to time. Uh, and they are all fully adjustable, so you can also drop them down for if you want to put in smaller cattle, weanlands or whatnot. Uh, and it's a fairly simple system for, for dropping them down. Uh, it's only a matter of one man can do it. If you grab the, the gate uh, about halfway over, give it a little lift up, it'll slide here on the, on the, the box section here. You can see the way it's designed. Uh, it slides up a little bit. You can pull out your pin here uh, and drop it down a hole, drop it down two holes, depending on the size of cattle you have in it. And uh, you can then drop your, drop your bar barrier down. So in a few minutes, you can completely change the, the level of all the barriers and suitable then for your smaller stock. Uh, it's going to be the same as the other, the other cattle shed, as in, uh, there is uh, two planks will go on the inside and then three planks here then on the outside. Uh, we have our, our holes uh, in place in the concrete floor from, uh, I may have showed those in the last video. So they're in place for holding the, the, the steel work that will hold the planks and uh, they will also be sent for galvanizing the steel work for, for holding the planks too. So everything's, everything's pre-fitted. Um, made sure everything's level and uh, within reason anyway, it's only a cattle shed, but make sure everything's fairly level and everything fits okay before then it's sent for galvanizing. Uh, so everything, everything is bolted on and then can be bolted off then uh, while, while it's sent away. Uh, also the lights of the angle iron here, uh, all the, the sharp corners have been taken off that as well. Uh, just to stop any animals, maybe if you're moving them and one of them maybe get into the feeding box that he doesn't cut his leg or, or anything like that. So you have to try and kind of think of all the eventualities that could happen or might happen. 
Um, but yeah, one side is fitted. Uh, we'll only start fitting this evening, um, and we'll we'll fit the rest of them in the morning. We have the the girders themselves have all been drilled, and the hangers are all in place. So it's only a matter of now just to get the gates on. Um, yeah, get the gates on and get them all set and level and squared up. Uh, and then we'll just be taking everything down and then and sending for galvanizing. So, uh, concreting from the last video has been has been completed. Uh, the last video, uh, we were just starting to, we I think all that was done in the last video was just the centre passage in the shed itself. But, uh, yeah, the complete bay now down the bottom here has been done. Uh, we left it a little bit bigger than what we had planned to initially. Um, probably the mo biggest reason we left it a little bit bigger was to have a little bit more parking space for some of the trailers and machinery uh, that it gets parked outside. Uh, last year we done a wee bit of an extension on our meal shed which took up uh, a bay's width of parking space and we were kind of lost with that all year so uh, we've gained that back now and some extra as well so we've we're kind of covered down that front but yeah all the concrete now has been finished uh, expansion joints have been have been cut in the concrete uh, everywhere that they've needed to be cut in um, and yeah no very happy with that as well uh, yeah the strip here down along the on the external passage has been completed as well as well it's it's a little wider than what we needed to leave it but uh, you're always better to have it a little bit bigger than, than what's needed as you've seen there doors have all been fitted now as well uh, i'm not sure if they were done in the in the previous video i don't think they will um yeah so doors are all fitted uh, we put two two sliding doors uh, on each side one large door for the, the center passage and a smaller door here. Uh, why do we put a smaller door here? Well, we get a lot of our weather comes from the east, uh, probably like a lot of others. And well, all our sheds are pointing in the same direction. So what we get is, if you left the, the door open here, you'd have a lot of rainwater can blow in on the passageway. The wind then will blow it on up the passage and it seeps in underneath the feeding boxes and in on feed, contaminates the feed, you end up having to throw out feed. So we were afraid on this external side that we'd have weather blowing water in here on feed, also on the cattle as well. And we've put this door on so, on so that if we have heavy rain uh, and strong winds forecast, slide over the door and uh, it should protect uh, feed and calf and cattle as well from uh, getting getting wet or exposed to the weather. So the uh, majority of the time the store will be closed, but when we need it, it will be there. Uh, and that's that's uh, we've got one down on the other the other end as well. Yeah, and finally now the concrete on the front side of the of the shed has been completed as well. Um, uh, expansion joints were cut in this only this morning. Uh, this was the final piece of concrete here that went in. This went in last Friday. Um, so it's it's had a few days. We're just trying to didn't drive really very much on it yet. Uh, the van has been on it and we pushed that trailer out earlier on just because we needed somewhere to, to park something. But uh, overall, it hasn't got much traffic on it yet. Um, uh, water pipes have all been run in as well. And well, obviously the cables has run in. All the water connections is made. Uh, this here is, it's a manhole that has been left here. Uh, there's an extra water pipe, which is running in from the field, uh, out beside where the, where the mains water connection is. Um, so we have a spare pipe run in for that, and then also a spare pipe here then that takes this into the shed, this other one that's sticking out. Uh, there's also some, uh, there's also some four inch pipes in there. Uh, there's a ducting, which runs from here and goes out the far side of the concrete. So if we're ever putting a shed or anything out there, we'll be able to run power out to it or water, whatever we need. Um, and then there's a spare duction pipe as well that runs from here 
over to the over to the field over the far side of the van as well so we'll try to cover all the eventualities if we ever need any more uh, connections or power supplies or anything like that um, but yeah that's that's really where we are at the minute uh, the centre gate has not been made yet uh, the dividing gate um, but that will be made over the over the next day or so uh, there's one a uh, large tip drinker in in that gate which is accessible from both sides um, so it's going to be the same here as the far side we're only going to divide the shed once for now anyway maybe down the line we may divide it uh, into smaller pens but we don't really see the need to like we've the other shed we can comfortably put depending on the cattle size between 20 and 25 uh, animals in each pen and uh, there's never any issues uh, with, with mixing large numbers like that we've never had any issues with it some people would say that they, they've had issues but we've never had any problems with it uh, and we'll continue to do that once it's working for us but yes yeah, so that's kind of a complete update on what's going on with the, the shed at the minute um, Continue now to fit out all the barriers tomorrow um, and then we'll fit up the, the, the dividing gates once they're made then and everything goes for galvanising uh, which will be hopefully towards the end of the week. It usually takes about a week then to get it back uh, and then once it comes back then we'll refit everything back up, uh, get the planks all cut and into place and at that stage then it's only a matter of fit the drinkers into the gate and pipe them up and we are good to go we'll be able to get some cattle into this shed so uh, it won't be a minute too soon because the weather has torn against us today uh, we've had quite a heavy day's rain uh, it's just dried out now in the last few hours because it's quite breezy but uh, there's more rain coming tomorrow and wednesday so ground conditions i'm sure are going to take a, a turn for the, the worse now fairly quickly uh, we had planned to take some cattle out and clip their their tails and uh, shave their backs but with the weather today we didn't get a chance to and we're probably not going to get a chance to now until later in the week. Uh, I had hoped to take some footage of that and I will do whenever we're doing it. So That's really it for now. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it's probably a little bit longer of an update than usual. Uh, and yeah, we we'll, be back for more updates once we we get a little bit further on so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one